What we're seeing right now is, in my view, a, a trickle-down government approach which has government thinking it can do a better job than free people pursuing their dreams. And it's not working. And the proof of that is 23 million people out of work. The proof of that is one out of six people in poverty. The proof of that is we've gone from 32 million on food stamps to 47 million on food stamps. The proof of that is that 50% of college graduates this year can't find work. We know that the path we're taking is not working. It's time for a new path. That was Governor Romney from last night's presidential debate speaking about the role of government in American life. Those comments echoing growing concerns in this country about an, emerging, an emerging culture of dependency on taxpayer-funded money. Interestingly, Fox Business Network's John Stossel just posted a column about how he recently sent his team out on the streets of New York City to find out just how hard it is to find work. Well, they quickly found 40 job openings. But then, during visits to two so-called government job centers in the very same neighborhood, one Stossel team member was encouraged to sign up instead for food stamps. He had 40 jobs sitting all around her. Another one, another place, told her to enroll for unemployment benefits. And no one, says Stossel, encouraged her to actually get a job. Joining me now, Alan Combs. He's host of The Alan Combs Show and author of Thank the Liberals for Saving America and Why You Should. And radio host and Fox News contributor Mike Gallagher, who is author of Fifty things liberals hate. <laughs> it's always fun doing Love that. Love to hate. Love to hate. Uh, but I, I mentioned that Stossel example because it, you know, I mean that's troubling. That is troubling, and we have no reason to believe Stossel is just inventing this. Uh, and it speaks to a larger point about what happens when the government gets involved in trying to solve people's problems. And is it too lazy in terms of just telling them to go sign up for a check that's funded by the federal taxpayers? Mike, your thoughts. This was one of the, the great moments of, of a debate where it had many mo great moments for Mitt Romney. In fact, I'm sure the sun is shining a little bright, more brightly where I'm sitting than where Alan is sitting there in the catacombs. I it mean, is. I, it I, literally I, I, is. We, I told you. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason. There's a great metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> but but here's the point. This was a debate where where the, the the ideology was allowed to shine. Again, the metaphor. But the truth of the matter is, there was there weren't distractions that kept the American people from being able to to see this concept and touch and feel this concept of the culture of entitlement. This is where Governor Romney was at his best mm -hmm. to to talk about the, the 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 work ethic that America needs to have in order to get back on track again. These are very different views. Mm -hmm. You know, President Obama believes in more government more entitlements uh, f when 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 newt called him the food stamp president i mean there there's factual you know basis for that so at the end of the day this was a chance for the american people the millions and millions of people the tens of millions who, who tuned in mm. to see this this very stark difference mm. and 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 romney was i think at his best this was the the undersold moment of the night where he talked about this this cult this culture of government dependency it was a it was a great great moment alan i'm shocked to hear mike think it went well uh, it, did, it did go well for Romney last night but I, I think that it's <laughs> all statistics it will show that most people went in and out of food stamps and in and out of welfare in a year and a half most people don't want to be on the government dole most people want to work most people are ambitious and and I don't buy I'm surprised Obama didn't bring up the 47 percent number last night I'm surprised you didn't reframe it by saying something like yes we've had a number of people on entitlements we've had a number of people on food stamps we've had to do it to get people out of the bush recession and hopefully over time uh... once once we see the numbers moving in the right direction moody's is projecting uh, something like ten million more jobs over the next ten years i'm sorry over the next four years boston consulting is saying we're going to get about two million manufacturing jobs over the next couple of years so these are the th we're on the right track and these are the metrics Alan. that need to be brought up uh, and should have been brought up last night uh, in the debate. Alan, do, do you know anybody on food stamps or, or, on, go or on government assistance, Alan? I, I mean, do. Because, but, because, yeah. Okay, and I, and I do too, and I, it'd be, be kind of interesting anecdotally to, to compare notes because, frankly, the people I know are not in a hurry to get off. They are not, I mean, yeah. I think that's well, flat I, wrong to assert that uh, most people want to be on well, food stamps that, for a year and a half, and the data doesn't well, back I'm that not, up, I'm not, Alan. I didn't say want to be. Most people are in and out of the system in a year and a half, and the data does back that up. And this notion that the right leads no. to keep promoting that people are lazy, they sit on their behinds, they sit on their keisters, as Reagan would say, they don't want to work, uh, they really want to take government money. 
Oh, you and I don't. Well, there Most are people some don't. people Why like would that. They? But there that's not. You're but, painting but a picture Megan, of people that is really derogatory and insulting to those who I'm need not, government assistance. I'm, that's not fair. I'm not using the word lazy. But what I'm saying is, people do take the path of least resistance. I mean, but, I know plenty of people. But let me jump in because I, I have a short time and I want to get to this. Mitt Romney also tried to make the point that the way it should be done, that we compassion, yes, absolutely, and to some extent, you need the government to help. But the sort of the way this country came up was neighbors helping neighbors, friends and family helping other friends and family and, and you know, folks Bingo. in the community and not so much Uncle Sam, Alan. Well, that's great if everybody's got a neighbor who'll help, if everybody's got a church or, or some organization to go to, not everybody can depend upon that. When Romney says at the same time he's going to cut tax rates for the rich from 35 to 25 percent, but the rich aren't going to pay any less than they're paying now, it's just disingenuous. We've got a deficit. He said he's going to cut tax rates uh, across I mean, the board, has, across he, the board, not the just for the rich. numbers don't match. Up, but he says the rich are not going to pay. It does. The numbers don't work, and he was not forced he, to make the numbers work last night. He Quickly, is Mike, not giving tax. He's not giving tax relief to the wealthy. That's a broken talking okay. point. He's watching to the to go from 35 to 25. Thank you.